Hello everyone, I thought I'd cover today's attacks in the same video, rather than separately. So we'll start with the first one. This video shows the aftermath of a drone impact on Kalino airfield in Kursk, Russia. Now this didn't hit plane station at Kursk, rather it hit an oil depot near the base. This was quite the blaze, Moscow sent three firefighting trains to the site. Each of these firefighting trains carried 240 tonnes of water, and 5 tonnes of foam for fire suppression. Here's the geolocation of the site, so you can see it's on the southwest side of the base. This was seen here, is closer than Engels was, about 100 kilometres from the border with Ukraine. The drone used could be 2141 again, as what hit Engels, but given the short range, I think something else is more likely, maybe the mugging drone that Ukraine has used before with the 2141 being safer targets further afield. Now the second attack from today. A few hours after the report on Kursk being hit, there is reports of another strike, this time in Bryansk. Now, there are many videos circling said to be from Bryansk from today, but many of them aren't. One doing the rounds is from November 30th, another is from even earlier. Some are from Kursk, labelled as Bryansk which is why I'm sticking with this screenshot from Twitter. All of the videos shown here from November 30th are being shared today as from Bryansk. So I want to avoid using the video just in case it turns out to be older and that sort of thing. Russian media says two drones entered the airspace and crashed three meters away from the fuel tanks. The same Russian media also reports that the five ton tankers nearby were empty so a serious fire was avoided. How true that is, I don't know. Here's the site that was hit, the Kombinat Slava plant, as seen here, just over 70 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. So four separate targets hit in two days inside Russia. Russia clearly has some massive holes in its air defenses. I wonder if this could be because SAMs have been diverted elsewhere, such as Crimea, or possibly to the east, leaving holes which were exploited. Or it could just be that the SAMs and radars guarding the airspace aren't very good. For getting through and hitting the target is quite embarrassing. If, there's a if there is a hole in Russia's SAM defences, we could see some getting diverted from Ukraine itself to possibly plug the hole. Though Russia does have a lot of SAM systems available, especially the S-300. So I think it's more likely we'll see S-300s diverted from elsewhere within Russia, not around Ukraine perhaps, or even ones from in storage being sent here to sort of plug the gaps around the border. So that's it for this video. Just a short update here, but I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everyone.